Confined spaces exist in a wide range of industries. They're dirty, dangerous, and uncomfortable to work in. For years, robots have aided in inspection tasks, but have struggled to perform high-load maintenance operations. When a person's working in a confined space, they're able to move over complex obstacles, but also brace themselves in a way that gives them stability. Highly mobile systems like quadcopters and legged robots don't have a way of easily doing that. So we wanted to understand the types of spaces that this robot would need to be moving around, so we started by building a mock-up. We built this mock-up based on feedback from our industry partners for the types of features that the robot would need to be able to move around. Some of these features include curved surfaces, support structures, and elevated hatchways. So anytime we had an idea, we'd build a simple prototype and we'd put it inside of our mock-up so we could easily test how well it worked and what features needed to be improved. Our team developed a self-stabilizing, reconfigurable gantry for high-force processes. Treads give the system mobility over obstacles, and the treads brace against walls for stability during work, allowing a large area to be reached. The biggest challenge we ran into was navigating elevated hatchways. It's very difficult to prevent what's effectively a long pole from bottoming out and getting stuck. So we realized that if we were able to move the treads along the gantry, we could control the center of gravity to keep it over the sill, and that would keep us from getting stuck as we move through elevated hatchways. In some ways, this is a hybrid of a snake robot and a linear gantry. We're really excited about where we can push this technology into new areas in oil and gas, automotive, aerospace, and the marine industry, so we can bring robots into confined spaces where they couldn't go before.